Hey y'all, this is our new um, Avenue for discussion. This is going to be cardboard therapy. This is going to be a new video series that we do uh, around, you know, Roman Revolution as, as the kind of header, but within that we have several different video types. This is going to be our therapeutic video type. So in my professional um, life, I, I work as an LPC or licensed professional counselor. Uh, that is my day job. There are a lot of, uh, actually a lot of folks in in uh, psych who also work in the board game field uh, in, you know, one variation or other. Pierre Sylvester, of course, famous for King of Siam and uh, Sin Fun Lim, who does, you know, a multitude of games. Belfort and, oh gosh, all kinds of other great games. Um, John Dubois, you guys know John from, uh, uh, he did a game with Button Shy, you know, a while ago. There's, I mean, there's tons, there's tons of people that are in the field that are in also mental health, but also work in and, and, and with board games. And so I don't think it's too much of a stretch for us to recognize that uh, board games kind of cross a lot of barriers that way. One of the things I've always found fascinating is working with, with member or with clients who have a hard time self-expressing. And so if you can present them a milieu that allows for discussion within the therapeutic setting, you can actually form stronger bonds that way. Cascadia is, is kind of one of those where a lot of what you're doing is talking about connections, it's talking about maybe place, piecing together ways to uh, build an experience, right? And so if we're looking at Cascadia, we're thinking about uh, how to use it therapeutically, right? So I would of course recommend using the family variant right here, as you can see, very, very basic, simple scoring. If you have one of a group, it's two points. If you have two of the same that are adjacent to each other, it's five points. If you have three um, connected, um, then it is three plus points, right? Uh, all wildlife per group of that wildlife type, groups of the same animal may not be adjacent, right? So that's pretty cool. Very, very limited rule set as far as that goes. And then so we can kind of talk about picking, uh, picking avenues for success, right? So this is a game you can kind of throw on the table real quick, you know, a limited set of tiles, maybe preset the tiles you want to use, preset the animal tokens you want to use. Um, and then so we talk about these are experiences you're gaining, right? So I gain the experience of this bird and this tile. And so I have to put the bird down. So now I've, I've learned something about the bird. This bird happens to like the wetlands, maybe it likes the forests. And I can put this tile here. So I'm looking to expand my awareness of mountains and expand my awareness of forests, right? And so you can have a discussion about those things, but you can also talk to them about what they learned as they play, right? There's another bird. So then maybe this player will take the, uh, we'll give them the bear, right? The bear seems cool. So they take a bear, right? And maybe they take the bird. There we go. And so we kind of continue on. They get a chance to, you know, draw a handful. Here's a fox. Get a little bit of a different experience. Oh, okay, great, cool. There's a fox that could go over here. Or I don't have an elk, but I don't have room for bird either. So I'll take the fox. And then, you know, I'll take this one because it lines up with this bear, right? So now, as I'm looking for bears, maybe I can put these three bears together. So learning about how to connect with their world, connect with uh, the things they encounter, right? And so in this case, you know, here's a good play. This player can take that for the mountains, right? Expanding their mountain awareness. And so you could talk about different things that they learned. Right, you know, what was it that the group of foxes learned encountering with the group of bears? You know, maybe the bears are something they relate to, and that's maybe a, a guiding force in their life. They think about, oh yeah, bears are like mama bears, right? Oh, my mother was a, a great artist, and she was a great teacher, and all these kind of things. So, you know, still is, um, those kind of things. Or, oh, the fox, man, wow, he's really clever, and I really like uh, the cleverness of the fox. I think that the clever foxes are a useful experience. I think I've learned a lot from clever foxes over the years, right? And so, you know, as I expand my territories, as I expand what I'm learning, you know, do I do I want to continue to grow certain 
parts or pieces of myself, right? Like if I slide this over here, or do I want to grow in a different area, right? And so you talk about awareness of growing, like, oh, well, I, you know, I know I've got a lot of bears happening over here. You know, I think I, I want to uh, bring my awareness back to my foxes, right? And maybe bring this over here. So now I've learned more about the water, you know, water avenues here with our bear and our fox. The fox maybe likes the, the desert area, the plains, maybe a little bit more. But it's, it's a chance to discuss ways that we grow. Right, so you're growing your territory, you're growing your consciousness. Uh, you could also talk about how, you know, maybe uh, the hawk soars, right? The hawk soars up above its problems. And so, you know, when you take a hawk, what are you considering? You're considering, oh, I want to soar above my problems, right? Or I might want to get rid of these three and three more. And so, oh, look, here now I've connected my foxes. And so I've found connections in my world. I didn't maybe connect with the bear, but I did connect with another fox. And so it's it's a way to them bring around awareness of, oh, well, these guys are my friends. I have friends who are different. Maybe I have friends who are alike. And so these friends, like, um, this is a friend that I play music with, and we both play music. Or this is a friend that I read comic books with. And, oh, okay, but how they're different, right? And so you can have these discussions, you know, maybe learning about swimming upstream, right? If I take the salmon, oh yeah, I'm, I was thinking about how uh, I'm gonna swim upstream, um, the swimming upstream as a metaphor for overcoming challenges, right? I've, I've been able to swim against the current sometimes and maybe against peer pressure, right? So there's a lot of different avenues and, and uh, variations you can use with that, thinking about um, ways that we communicate with each other, right? You know, does does having a big group of foxes, is that really a good thing? Well, in this case it is, because it scores points, right? But so this community of foxes has, has grown, and but they've grown, but their territories don't match, right? And so you really don't gain a lot that way, but you gain a lot for them being of the same ilk, right? Maybe we can move this fox over here. Um, he can grow this territory, right? See? So now this fox and this bear have a similar understanding. They've been in similar experiences, right? And so it's a way to kind of talk through that process, maybe with folks who, who are looking for some avenues, looking for some answers, you know. Um, so that's that's kind of our first discussion of, of cardboard therapy. I'm looking to do probably several more of these videos, different uh, games. Um, if there's any games that you guys think are interesting therapeutically or y'all think are interesting therapeutically, please let me know. You know I'm certainly... Uh, open to discussion, certainly open to um, trying some different videos. You know, I think there's uh, Colorado is a, is a good one. Maybe you go see a Colorado video coming up. Um, certainly, we want to try to keep them rules light, but also the game light enough that we can play it um, without a whole lot of having to stop, look up rules, and really break out of the mindset that we're in, we're in there for a therapeutic intent. We're trying to uh, gain some awareness about the mem about the client and, and what they're they're looking to do, what they're seeking for themselves, what they're seeking for others. So I hope you guys had fun watching this video. We'll of course you know load up load up some more um, some cardboard therapy. Let's look for it. We're gonna hashtag it. It's been a hashtag on Twitter for years and years and years. I'm just 